The tourism ministry says, based on their calculations so far, an estimated five billion Jamaican dollars was earned during Carnival this year in Jamaica. Senior strategist at the tourism ministry, Delano Seafright, says this was the largest carnival in Jamaica since 2019, where they made some 4.6 billion Jamaican dollars. Mr. Seafright was speaking on TVJ's Smile Jamaica Thursday. You have to buy your plane tickets, so that's taxes and revenues coming from all these people. Thousands of people came in okay. for carnival. You have the Airbnb and the hotels, all the money going in there, the food establishments, the drink establishments, all the party suppliers, the production companies, all these bands, the kind of costume designs that they have. And when I hear the prices, I mean, it really adds up quite quickly when people spend a thousand dollars on a costume. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll go, yes, and then we'll go to the taxi drivers, the jerk chicken man, the hairdressers, the barbers, the cosmetologists, everybody is involved in that value chain. Mr. Seafright says their marketing strategy was to target specific groups outside of Jamaica for the event. One of our strategies has really been to ensure that we can encompass as much celebrities as possible into the carnival programming. So this year you saw Kaisenat um, was here, who is the stream of the year in the United States for 2023 and 2024. Yes, I'm going to give my time. <laughs> Nicole Arbel, um, yeah. a famous Canadian YouTuber, she was here. Uh, of course, Coyle Ray and all these people were all here. And I want to thank Roshan and Chad Lucci and all these people who helped to bring these celebrities into Jamaica. We're really happy about that. But those people carry the message to their respective demographic audiences and spread the word. And that's sort of one of the strategies we're going to be relying on going forward, the use of our influencers. Meanwhile, he also addressed the issue of the garbage left to littering sections of the corporate area the morning after the last carnival show. He says this was not the intention and apologized for it. The carnival in Jamaica is an extremely well-organized activity. There were cleanup crews going behind the revelers and so on, but there were some gaps clearly that cannot happen again. Mm. And we have made it clear that that public-private partnership with our municipal corporation, SWMA, and our private sector stakeholders needs to be tightened up so that it never happens again. It's an unacceptable situation. We're a big city. We know how to clean up the place. And we're as shocked as everyone else. But it will never happen again.